You're looking from the top down onto the head. And what, what I'm most concerned about are the colors that are orange and red. Uh, this is a report that's done in standard deviation. So if you remember the bell curve from school, 95% uh, of the population falls within two standard deviations, plus or minus. Anything that's gray is at zero. And then moving to the right or the left, there are colors that you can see on the bars. When you have a yellow or an orange, you're moving into two to three standard deviations too much brainwave activity. So there's a little bit of excessive brainwave activity on the fourth head over. And then the fifth head over on the top row, you can see there's a lot of red. And also on the second row down, those first two heads, even the first three heads, you've got the orange and the red and the yellow. Right, and tell me again, what exactly does that mean? That means there's too much of that particular brain wave compared to the average population. Okay. So this person has a lot of delta, which is sleep brain wave, and an, a lot of theta, which is a daydreaming brain wave. So their eyes are open, but they're half asleep. Okay, so this might be an ADD, typically yes. what you might see with ADD. Right, Okay. right, very much so. And then as you go up the frequencies, you go down to the second, third, fourth row, the frequency is increasing, and you're moving through beta wave, which is the pay attention, be alert brain wave. And then on the next page over, you would see the high beta, which is the flight and fight brain wave. So something that you definitely want to have if a bear starts chasing you. But in normal everyday life, you want to be calm enough that your body is at rest, but you are alert. So many times with uh, ADD clients, they have this excessive slow wave activity, and yet they also have high beta because they're in school, they're struggling, they know they're not catching all the information, and they become anxious.